The loss of this little girl stunned the Papillion community. A 10-year-old Abby Woodford was in a crosswalk when a driver hit and killed her in August. Only on KETV tonight, Abby's mother wants you to know this spirited little girl was gracious and generous, even in death. And then she loved cutting holes um, <laughs> in her jeans. Sarah Whitford keeps photos and memory books close. She was such a, a unique child. Always goofy, I, just so passionate, I think is probably the best way to say it. When she loved, she loved hard. She talks about her 10-year-old, Abby. <laughs> the twirling kid who mixed stripes with patterns, accessories, and attitude. She was so unapologetically herself. When an accident took the fifth grader's laughter, Sarah says Abby's life story wasn't finished. As soon as I knew she was gone, I just, that couldn't be it for me. That couldn't be the end. In the hospital on that August day. She's just so generous. I mean, she was always giving. She was very compassionate and empathetic. The family made a decision. So for me, it just made sense. If my family had to go through a tragedy, the least I could do was to help another family, um, you know, either have a better quality of life or save a child. Abby, an enthusiastic martial artist, was able to save at least four lives with organ donations. Sarah is so brave. <laughs> like any family that makes that decision, they're so brave and so generous. And we are blown away every day to be able to work these, with these families. The right kidney and intestine went to a 25-year-old male. The left kidney went to a 63-year-old male. The liver went to a six-year-old male. And then the heart went to a four-year-old. The sound of Abby's heart is captured forever in this plush bear. We always said, you know, that she had so much light inside of her, so much spirit, so much energy. And I mean, honestly, like now I think that's why, like God made her full of enough life that she could share it with so many other people. And with that spirit, a wish for those recipients. If they can have, you know, just even a little bit of her energy and her spirit, then they're going to be set for just a great life. A gift from a mom <laughs> who embraces life. I'm definitely a silver lining person. I always say you have to feel the feelings, but don't unpack there. You know, yeah, <laughs> wallow for a day or so. But then, I mean, life's too precious for us to just focus on the tragedy. She is an amazing mother. Sarah plans to reach out to the recipient soon. Live on Nebraska says last year was a record year for organ donations and many more are needed. 400 people are waiting for life-saving transplants right now in Nebraska. Talk with your family about your desire to help. Well, tomorrow, February 14th, is National Donor Day.